Pharmacy graduates across Canada are having to put their careers on hold after their certification exam was postponed for a second time this year. These grads have waited months to enter the workforce and say poor planning is to blame. Currently, myself and many of my colleagues uh, really are out of limbo. Eric Tran is one of 200 graduates who were notified that their license exam was cancelled only 48 hours before. The University of Toronto student was supposed to take this test back in May, but that was delayed due to COVID, so it was rescheduled for last Sunday. We're stuck with the title as a pharmacy intern. Um, where we can practice similarly to the scope of a pharmacist, but not entirely the scope of a pharmacist. According to exam administrators, Sunday's test was cancelled due to public health regulations that limit crowd gatherings. But without this certification, these grads are also limited in how much money they can make. Many of us uh, are, are in debt, some of us over hundreds of thousands of dollars. This is a mandatory exam that graduates need to take in order to become licensed pharmacists. In this last step, they'll be evaluated on their interaction with standardized patients at a number of clinical stations. Grads say the test administrators had ample time to prepare for the expected second wave. I asked for contingency plans. There was nothing provided to us to say, you know, this is what we could do. We offered solutions such as virtual OSCE or creating more sites available or even uh, granting us something called conditional licensure. So for us to practice without finishing the examination part. Those suggestions were denied according to grad Michelle Wang who adds that there is a high success rate with this exam. The Pharmacy Examining Board of Canada is the national body responsible for providing tests and licensing pharmacists and pharmacy technicians. The organization says while approximately 200 candidates were displaced in this latest round of testing, the exam was administered to another 1,000 candidates across the country. Quote, while this is no consolation to those who were unable to test, it is a testament to the hard work and dedicated efforts by the exam center teams who worked tirelessly with PBC staff to overcome each obstacle amidst rapidly escalating COVID health and safety restrictions. The board says it's looking at offering an additional exam in February. It makes us feel like we're not an appreciated healthcare provider. And there's more to this story. If you take your cell phone camera and you point it to the code at the bottom of the screen, that will take you to our website, citynews.ca, where you could learn more about this issue. Now ahead on City News, concerns of a pharmacy shortage and what that could mean for your local drugstore.